Hey, welcome this week. We are going to take over from where we left off last week with more dynamic discussion. So to this week, we're going to start off with a simple pattern. I want you to get this pattern under your belt first. It's a double thumbing four note pattern on the first and second strings, and I will demonstrate that for you right now. And in case that wasn't clear, let me count the notes for you. One, two, three, four. So we have four notes. We're gonna take the ideas from last week and we're going to apply them to each one of those four notes in at different times. And we're gonna separate that all with that basic double thumbing pattern that I just demonstrated. So let me show you how this is going to work. We'll do four of the beginning pattern. And then I'm going to transition into accenting the first note of that pattern. And then I'm going to transition back to the original pattern. And then I'm going to accent the second note, which is a thumb stroke. And then transition back to that first pattern. Then accent the third note, which is the downstroke on the second string. Back to the beginning. And then transition to an accent on the fourth note, which is your last thumb stroke. Hopefully that's clear. I broke my nail this week, so my tone is sucking. All right, let's do this right. We're gonna use a metronome this week because I think that playing with these accents, uh, it's gonna jack with your, with your tempo, at least it does with mine. So I'm gonna try to keep myself honest uh, this week with um, 126. Let's try 126. That sounds pretty good. Okay, here we go. incredibly difficult. Transitioning between accenting those downstrokes and then accenting the thumb strokes is so hard. It is so good for your technique. It really is teaching you touch, finesse, and how to stay solid in that groove while you're doing some pretty crazy stuff with your right hand. It's also very musical. You're going to be able to translate these exercises and put them into your own melodies and phrases or when you're learning a tune you're going to be able to look at that tune and you're going to be able to say I can accent this in different ways I can I can do certain things that will enhance the groove when you're listening to yourself play notice what happens to the feel when you accent different parts this feeling is such a different feeling than something like this When you accent those thumb strokes, it really transforms the groove uh, from your typical downstroke heavy feel. So that's it for this week. Uh, I struggled with this exercise. You heard me struggle with it. So struggle is good. It's just going to make us better players. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. As always, please subscribe and I will see you next week. I got a doozy for you next week. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. It helps the channel and uh, have a good weekend.